Many of us know that dana means generosity, you know, to share uh, what you possess. Uh, for example, your wealth, your time, your skill, your knowledge, and so on and so forth, you know, whatever you possess to share, that is called dana, just like, just give away or, or let it go what you possess. And normally that what we say, oh, you have to do lots of generosity so that you have lots of merit you, you, will, you, you will accumulate, you know, so that um, it will bring so good karma in, in within this life and next life. You know, you will, uh, what you give, you will get or you will gain. And that, no, we, we use in a, like a kind of car, the merits that you will accumulate. So you, we know all these things. So today let's talk a little bit in a, in a deeper and profound level why the dana is uh, so important in, in order to spiritual development and spiritual, uh, let's say, path. Uh, my understanding here is that because in the end, everything is connected to our ego, you know, like that, that ego is the root cause of so-called samsara, which is samsara, if you translate the samsara, which means dukkha, the, the suffering, samsara, so suffering. So you can say the we, nobody, none of us, we, we, we want to, to experience suffering for ourselves and our, for our family and other people. We don't want to suffer, even include animals and any sentient beings. And now, but still we are suffering ourselves. Why? Because that ego, the self-grasping is so, so, so strong here. Now, now, what I really understand the spiritual is all about uh, kind of going toward that, like a, to let it go, the self-grasping or the or so-called, we, we, we sometimes say liberation or enlighten. It's nothing but the let it go, the self-grasping, let it go, the ego, you know, kind of the, the process of ego to let it go. So now dana is playing a huge role in order to liberate yourself from the samsara, from the dukkha, from the suffering. How? See, the, what you possess, for example, let's say you have a home and you have all the whatever you possess your family and your wealth and everything. The ego is sometimes, you know, we think like a, it is just almost like a, within our physical body, but it is at the same time, it's a very huge and it's just, what do you call it, private or it's kind of spread all over what you possess. For example, let's say, this is my house, this is my book, this is my cup, this is my um, you know, table, this is my chair, this is my bag, this is my mobile, this is my... So everything what you possess, there is like an ego is kind of connected. It, ego is like, it's a quite a huge, sometimes even like a few thousand kilometers away, if you have something you possess, it is even there. So it, it's that huge. Now, that what we have been saying here, we wanted to liberate in the spiritual. And I always say we want to liberate. We don't. We want to. Do. The Buddha is so much emphasizing on reducing the dukkha, you know, and and like a like a what do you call that liberating from the the cause of the dukkha, the suffering. The what is the real cause of the suffering, the samsara, is ignorance, which is ego, the self grasping. Now. In order to liberate ourselves, we have to, in the beginning, we have to reduce the, the self-grasping, the ego. And slowly we have to let it go, that um, uh, the ego, we have to literally kind of, we have to eliminate our ego. So now the dana, when you start giving, so let's say if I have, a, let's say, uh, something which I possess, let's say uh, my cup, or my table, or my chair, or let's say include my whatever that is connected to me. So if I let it go, that small thing, let's say I have a one bag, and I give to someone who maybe need it most, let's say, 
uh, and then I give away that my bag, which is maybe I like it so much, you know, and before maybe I don't want anybody to touch even like that kind of attach and that even if I lost that, maybe I started crying for a few days or can't sleep and so on and so forth. So there is that ego is somehow attached with this bag. Now, let's say one day I have a little compassion and I wanted to give the dana that I want to share this bag with someone who really need it. And I give away. Now what really happened in the surface, it looks like you did some good karma. Like you just give away dana, you just give away. But what's really happening in a deeper level, what's really happening here is that whatever attach to this bag, that kind of attachment, that the ego, that let's say you think like an ego string is connected to that bag, it is disconnected. So what, what does that really mean? Let's say, let's say you have a hundred what you are possessing and that means your, your ego is spread in a hundred uh, things. And now you consciously let it go one which you are possessed, which you really attached to and which you really like. And you let it go. And let's say if it represents the one percent of your wealth, just imagine, or let's assume. And what really happened here is, in a deeper level, the one percent of the ego grasping is reduced now. I am seeing here. So now, now, now what really happened? In the surface, you did a dana, you did generosity, but in the deeper level, the one person of the ego is reduced now. So what does that really mean? That means that one person of the cause of the suffering is reduced. You know, what does that mean? That means one person of the joy and happiness is increased. What does that mean? That means you have more space in your heart. Before it was kind of, oh, it's me, me, my, my, you know, kind of, that, that might be the cause of dukkha, the suffering. And it is increasing the dukkha, it is increasing the ego, self-grasping. But now it reduced. You create a space within you. And that space, we call it merits. The space that we call it dharmakaya. The space, we call it bodhicitta. So now your bodhicitta is like a kind of, start of shining. Even, even though it's a one person, so dana is a, playing a huge role in, in order to kind of, what do you call, um, that um, in a, like a good, good karma, you know, like a, to accumulate the, good, the merit. But at the same time, it is also helping us to liberating from the suffering, especially the cause of the suffering, the ego is reducing just by doing a dana.